Hey guys, welcome to my review of the RF 15 to 35 millimeter lens. This one is really quite special, but before we get into the actual review, I want to ask you to please click the like and subscribe buttons below as it really does help me out as a small channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into this review. Okay, so this lens really is quite something. It goes wider than its predecessor while also including optical lens stabilization. This is amazing, especially when you realize that this lens comes with an f2.8 aperture. Now, we can get down to the technical specs, like its minimum focus distance of 28 centimeters or its great ability to remain sharp even at the edges of the frame. But what I'm really interested in is what this lens allows you to do. Like if you've ever seen my videos before, you know that what I'm really interested in is what the product actually does for you. Whether that be allowing you to see a picture more clearly, hear music more true to what the artist intended, or get a better experience out of your computer. Basically to me, it all comes down to how the product actually is to use. Like if the specs are better, but you couldn't actually tell the difference, then there's no real point in spending your money there and it's better used elsewhere. Now with this lens, I'm thrilled to report that this really is a game changer. At around 2300 US dollars, it definitely should be, but the wide viewing angle allows you to not only take photos, but to truly capture the moment and take wide, all-encompassing shots with ease. But its wide aperture means that you can do this even when indoors, without having to whip out the studio lighting or boost your ISO. It also means that for portraits, you can have the smooth, creamy bokeh in the background that's oh so fashionable. I will point out that it has the ability to stretch heads if you get too close, but it's well known for its logging ability, and in general does a great job. It also does an amazing job of taking interior shots. It's a residential photographer's dream, as it makes almost any space look open and airy. I would say for them, it's a must have, as it easily captures any room without the distortion that comes with wider lenses. That's the thing with this lens, it just does such a great job with so many things. I've used it for a bit for some of the product photography I've done, and I love it because it does such a great job of conveying the scale of some products that other lenses just don't do nearly as well. Another great use of this lens is for nature and travel photography. No other lens I own even gets close to the capturing the ambiance and entire scene nearly as well as this one does. The wide angle just gets so much more detail that would normally be lost in a 24mm shot. Like the difference doesn't sound like a lot between a 24mm and 15mm lens, but you have to remember that this change occurs logarithmically, so the difference between a 105mm and a 100mm focal length is microscopic when compared to the difference between a 15mm and 20mm lens. It's just such a nice change and the lens also comes with some other bonuses too. You can check out my full video on it here, but Canon has included their control ring, which basically gives you the ability to map a setting like aperture, ISO, or exposure time to a ring on the lens. It is a cool experience, but it's not that big of a feature in my mind, as the camera already has a touchpad and a dial for adjusting settings. Overall though, this lens really just is a solid win. It does so many things so well that even if your interests change over time, it will be able to easily adapt to whatever you want to shoot, and opens up so many fun avenues of photography. The best part is that it does this job so well and over time the only thing holding you back will be your skills and creativity. It's here to last with its rugged build quality and full weather sealing that should let you shoot in the most challenging conditions. Overall, I really love this lens and couldn't recommend it any more than I already have. The only true downside is the high price tag, but assuming that you have the cash, I think you will be more than happy with your purchase. One comment I would make is that for people with a more constrained budget, they may consider picking up an older EF 16-35 f4 lens possibly even used, as they can do a great deal of the work this lens does, but at way less of a cost. That's all I have for today though. Thank you all so much for watching and feel free to support me by liking and subscribing. I'm almost at 100 subscribers and my goal is to reach it after a few more videos. I'm a small channel, so every subscriber really helps. Thank you again and feel free to check out some of my other videos if you're interested. 